Hello, I wanted to show you guys this um, uh, overflow issue I was having with uh, the WordPress post. So, this is on, I'm opening the Chrome developer tools here, and if you look on um, the mobile width, if we go switch to this, once we get to around 550 pixels, if you keep going smaller, you can see that the content is just going off of the page. So, um, in this case, the, the build, there's, there's a couple of builders installed, but this is just made with the default uh, WordPress, um, I think it was the classic editor, so if I go to edit post here, um, we can just see like what's going on back there. Um, so, let's see. Like you see, there's Elementor's installed, and so is w, WP Bakery. But uh, I think really the the content shows up here just in the regular classic editor. Maybe that's the default for for the bakery. But anyway, so um, since it's not using Elementor or something like that, uh, I'm just going in and looking at the classes here, and um, I figured out that it was down here at this this column is the one that was uh, causing the problem. So if we set that to max width of 100%, um, it solves that problem. You can see there when you set to 100, it uh, contains the content inside of the page. And so if we want to get this applying to all the posts, I can remove these other selectors here that are just, um, it looks like they're, another, they're selectors for different styles. So I'm going to take those away and just add some more general um, parent selectors like the row. I'll put the row in there and I'll put the container and then I'll go up to actually the, uh, the body and grab those like template posts for these general template WordPress template classes like post template default and single post and that should be probably enough. That uh, oh those those two should be the same connected um, and then that way I have a, a pretty specific specific selector and I can copy it and paste it into the customizer here which I already have done earlier but uh, um, I commented it out here so uh, take that one away but you can go and uh, publish that and refresh and you'll see that it uh, changes will take effect. Go ahead and refresh here. That same one should be added now. Yeah, so there it is. It's one, uh, if you're having an, an overflow issue with your WordPress post, that might be a way to fix it.